Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about Thriller Miller in KTM and how he got on on the first day of testing in Valencia. Now for me Miller definitely does have a tricky job moving from the Ducati team or the factory Ducati team to the factory KTM team and you know there is definitely going to be a massive swing in the philosophy of how a bike is constructed built run compared to the Ducati team so you know it was good to see him out there he got a lot of laps in um on his days testing his first day he finished in 17th uh, place uh, 0 0.755 of a second off pole um with a 130.787 which you know is not a bad go in in fairness he did say that they didn't actually do any laps in anger and um, it was more so on the medium tire and the best time that he set was actually on the medium tire they did try something with the soft tire but it just didn't work for them so he didn't actually have a lap in anger so he couldn't really compare it to his q2 time of 129.8 on the ducati but saying that look he is almost or what well, he is within a second of where he was on the ducati around valencia anyway now jack was mainly focused on the new bike he did have both options um, and he did try the old bike and uh, but he was mainly focused on the new bike because look that's going to be more geared of where he was going to run next year they're not going to use the old chassis for sure as brad has confirmed there's a massive uh, step up in the in the new chassis but again you know he was fairly happy with how he got on there you know there's a lot i would definitely think for him to download and understand especially after spending so many seasons riding a ducati must be a bit of a culture shock to jump on the ktm and go from there but again you know i have said this already that i do believe that things will will look up for miller because i think with brad and paul i think there's quite a good development team there to get that bike to where it needs to be do i think it will be front runner next year i am not sure i think it'll be there or thereabouts um maybe top five sort of bike constantly uh, with one of them but i'm not 100 percent sure will it be will it be a ducati killer if uh if you pardon the the pun there but you know i definitely um so i'm less concerned now than i was concerned when i originally heard that that he signed for ktm i do think he could have a good couple of years on the ktm bike um there does seem to be a lot of uh fuss being made around him and of course right now he is very valuable to uh ktm because he still has an awful lot of knowledge of what a good bike feels like or what the ducati feels like you know how does their engine characteristics go what does the ride height system feel like when it's working and you know that's all feedback that he can give to the ktm engineer so he is extremely valuable to them um and you know i'm actually excited to see how well he will do next year but i'd love to know your thoughts what did you think of miller's performance in the testing and how do you think he's going to perform next year definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and i'll be back again tomorrow with another video